All right, today we're gonna to be doing a follow-up to the power stack video that we did a couple weeks ago. If you're interested in learning more about these power stacks, see the link above. We go into a lot more detail on that video in regard to these batteries and comparing them against some of DeWalt's other batteries. Today's focus is gonna be solely using this DCF887 hex impact driver, and we're gonna be using the 5.0 power stack and the 1.7 power stack. We're gonna see if we can see any difference uh, in power gains while using these two batteries fully charged and using this drill here. So in our demo here today, we're going to be using the DCF887 hex impact driver. We have a 5.0 power stack fully charged, a 1.7 power stack also fully charged. In regard to our screws, we're going to get into some GRK structural screws, and these are 5 16 by 4 inch, all the way up to 6 inch. We're also going to get into some larger leg screws, and these are 5 16 and 3 8 as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what are my final thoughts here? As you saw there in the demo, when we were using these GRK screws, each individual screw, the longer it got, we noticed that the 5.0 was drilling those a little bit quicker than what the 1.7 was. However, when we got into the smaller leg screws, and obviously these are a lot thicker, but they're a shorter length, there really wasn't any difference in between. I'm confident if you would have increased the size of these, you know, up to a six inch or so, you're going to start seeing the same trends that we saw in this group over here. The PowerStack 5.0 would have probably been able to do those a little bit quicker. Now, with that said, obviously, from a straight power standpoint, our goal here today was to try to figure out, you know, is there really that much difference between these two while using this 887? But if you start looking down into the cost of these, similar to some of the other reviews that I've done out there, I have really mixed feelings about this 5.0. Yes, is it more powerful? Yes, is it a 5.0? It's a little bit longer runtime than this 1.7. But this guy is very expensive. You know, just this battery alone is $250. Sometimes you can find the kits that have two of them where they have two batteries for $350. But still, you know, that's a very expensive battery, you know, for a simple 5.0 when you can go get, you know, these XR 5.0s all day long for very cheap. They're in kits, you know, at various different times where you can almost get those for free. So if it was my money, I'd buy three or four of these 1.7s before I bought a single one of those 5.0s. And if you see my other video out there, I talk about this in that video, but the footprint of this battery is quite a bit smaller than a lot of the other batteries that DeWalt has. This 5.0, yes, it's more powerful than these, but this one's probably 25% bigger than some of the batteries out there. So, you know, again, if I was looking at a power stack for the cost, I'd buy a couple of these. If I needed a 5.0 run time, i just go get the regular XR 5.0. You can find those all day long in different kits that are very cheap. You know, sometimes you're getting those batteries for hardly nothing in, in those kits with the tool. So, you know, again, if you need a longer run time, I would just get the XR 5.0. Obviously, you know, as time passes, I'm sure this is going to be on sale at some point, just like this 1.7 is. But for the cost, you know, $250 just for that one single battery, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Yes, it's a little bit more powerful, but you know, does that really justify the cost? So hopefully this helped you out here today. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.